All right, welcome to the evolution meeting for September 7th, 2021, or March 590th, 2020, depending how you look at it. Um, so what we're doing is just gonna check and see if we have any comments on our metric that is a candidate for release. Uh, these are all old because it was rolling. I don't see any new comments there. I think we did this, didn't we? Uh, I think that Yash did this work for us. Let's take a peek. So some of the... Uh... Or, of or maybe Vinod did. I thought we I thought we uh, yeah, I yeah. have created a word doc for you to just go through if it is okay, then I can create a PR for that a readme file. So the readme file is the one thing that's uh, not completely... not not updated as per the standard template. So if you go to that issue uh, for the readme and yeah, the up, uh, help oh, there's a readme one. one. There's a readme yeah. one above that. Yes. Can you open this? Yeah. Go, just scroll it down. Can you uh, open the next link? Uh, Second link. Little. Yeah. This is where I've created a readme for the updated readme for the uh, evolution working group. If this reads well and fine, then I can create a pull request for, for merging it. I think it reads well and fine, unless anybody wants to join me as co-chair. Can you Take scroll? It. Can you scroll up to uh, participants or how to participate? How to join us? Okay. Read the agenda meeting minutes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Vinod. Sure. Uh, yeah, this, this is the standard. I followed the standard one exactly. Uh, you have to add a yep. space there. Um, yeah. Yeah, some of the some of the other we've had problems in that particular section and some of the other working groups. So, uh, is there? Um, do we give them a link to the call anywhere? So that is in the participate page. Like when you they go to the calendar, they can see the link over there. I guess. That I see. I see. Okay, introduce yeah. yourself. Video conferences. Okay. Yeah. So this participate goes to a. Uh, it goes yeah. to the website. Yeah. yeah. Well, it yeah. goes to the website that has the participate information for all of the groups. Okay. So the the problem we were having is that each working group was maintaining different how to participate information. So yep. there was redundancy, confusion, and confusion, and things were wrong. In, yeah. In yep. different places. So the we're trying to get it so it just everything just points to one standard place. I mean, it reads fine to me, but I'd, I'd, I'd say okay. do, the, okay. do, the, do the PR. Okay, I'll do it now. Uh, LG to me, I'll just... Uh, I do spend a lot of time in evolution. If you want me to co-chair, I would. Yeah, put Kevin down as co-chair. Sold. Okay. Good. Done. Just so there's another person to uh, yep. to bother. Although I'm just going to tell everyone to contact you. So, <laughs> and uh, for the previous metrics, so metrics release notes. Do we need to create an issue for metric release notes, or uh, open that one up? What's in there? This is from the previous release, or maybe it's. Oh, it's I guess it's oh nine. That's oh, change September. it to change that to ten. Edit it and change it to ten. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's for this one, we just need to add uh, uh, what is it? Contribution attribution. Yep. To to the the list here. All right. Otherwise, it's accurate. Uh, um. New metrics released one contribution attribution. 
Boom. Okay. Do we need? Are we? Are we done with the reorganized repository issue? I think. I think once Vinod does the um, does the uh, the README update, we're definitely okay. reorganized the repository. I mean. Uh, okay. Close with comment. It's a nice feature. And you're creating a PR run on for that? That's yep, yep. Just I need to correct meeting time. Uh, let's see. It'll be updated in the README once I'm done with it. Yeah, we can close some issues. And pull requests apparently added contribution attribution to README. Oh, Kevin has a PR for that, which probably should get merged. Uh, let's look at it. Real quick. It's the focus areas community growth README. So it's just, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that should be done. Yeah, <laughs> we should do that. Yeah, obviously, we don't spend a lot of time looking at the pull requests here. Fixed typos and explanations in issue resolution duration for filters. Hmm. Kevin, what is your GitHub link? For what? I have to add you as a co-chair, so I have to provide a GitHub profile page. Oh, it's just Clum. K-L-U-M-B, Clum. A-L-U-N-D, okay. Uh, this, this pull request, I think I don't really, I would have to go through this one and pretty much. Yeah, everything, so we, we went through this one before. Everything looked good, but there was one place where he was changing some language that uh, was a little problematic. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, I thought everything was okay. Uh, and it was the proxy to dimension language, right? Yeah, that's what I'm, yeah. Okay. All right. All right, reverted dimension back to proxy. All right, so I'm just gonna trust that he did that because he said he did. Anyone object? Nope. Such a trusting person. And this is the one, this is our kind of reactions. This is the pull request where it is actually on our agenda to begin developing the emoji reactions metric. And we discussed this the last time, so. Yeah, and I think that metric, uh, that metric probably needs to be, needs to exist before we can add a yeah. filter, right? Yeah, my, yeah my, my guess is that this pull request will be closed without merging, but that it will have a comment that it was uh, adopted or adapted in a particular way as it was. Okay. That would be my guess, but I don't see any harm in leaving it open for the moment. Do we want to, uh, so some of the working groups like to track new metrics that by creating issues. Do we want to do that? Um, we can. Um, we don't need to do that in a meeting, but I mean, I think okay. that's not a bad idea. I think that's, uh, I think that's a good idea that we have... I know we're based on the, the minutes uh, um, a lot to do. This emoji in there. I just want to change that to that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it didn't give me numbers. 
numbers. There we go. So we have 11 metrics on deck. I just had to, I had to see the number. I didn't want to count the lines. Let the machine do that. So yeah, we have 11 metrics on our plate um, for the next release. So I think we'll be busy building metrics in future meetings, hopefully. Uh, and when I, I think we have our monthly meeting coming up after this call. So I will raise awareness of the evolution working group's ambitions for the next release. Okay. Uh, you know, earlier where I said I would, wouldn't tell you if, uh, if I did something wrong. Yes. You're release. about to confess anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! You'd make a terrible mobster. <laughs> uh, I didn't. I didn't add the uh, the chaos quality checklist to oh. the metric that we've released. Yeah. Uh, so I sh we should probably add it. And maybe just peek through the checklist real quick. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, so I I'm remember doing, that. I'm doing that now. Okay. All right. I will stop sharing and maybe let you share as you start going through that. Sean, I have that uh, agenda for the next meeting open already. Don't we just drop that list in there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, checklist is in there. All right. I can share a screen with you or we can just look at the checklist uh, separately. Um, sh I guess share it, it'd be, I think, easier for all of, for, every, for people to follow along with the home game. <laughs> okay. So create the review issue, uh, we did that. Um, are you uh, sharing your screen? Yeah, do you not see it? Well, yeah, but it. that's that's my issue with how Zoom behaves. I got it. No, uh, wait a minute. No, I don't got it. Zoom does. Zoom's just weird for me. I have to find the window that it decided to share. All right, keep keep going. I'll find the window. Hey, create pull request to edit or add the metric to the uh, repo. We did that, right? Yep. We added the metric to the release notes. Yes. Uh, updated the metric spreadsheet. We did that last week. So I'm confident that's done. When is, when, where is that one at? Is it... Uh, should be uh, under community review. Double check. Contribution but, attribution, community yep. review. What's that? I'm almost, I remember doing this last week. So, yep. It's oh, um, exactly. way down at the bottom under community growth. Oh, well, community it's growth. Line 82. What's the difference between ready and under community review? Um, I think that basically issuing the pull request and doing all the things to make it available on the website. So there are a few, few technical steps in between the working group is done with it. We want to show it and get it approved by the community, but we have, there are some steps that we have to follow to get it put on the website and officially under review. Uh, we have to create the issue and all that stuff, I think is the difference. Kevin, am I right? Yeah, I think that seems that sounds reasonable. So uh, if we have if we have metrics that are ready. Oh, uh, so I'm this metrics. So this is okay. We had this long discussion 
about this, um, about code changes commits. So it was just code changes and we changed it to code changes commits. And I think at some point we, there was not clear, it was not clear to me if, um, well, we never changed it. We talked about changing it, but we never actually did the pull request to change it. All we want to do is add code changes. We don't want to, we wanted to add the word commits uh, to it, but we never created that pull request. That's gross. So, That's community so, growth. Yeah. I'll code create changes. the pull commits. No, it's not community growth. It's a uh, code development activity. Code yeah. changes. Yeah, code development activity, sorry. Code development activity, code changes. Yeah, I remember that conversation because we want we wanted to be we wanted to be explicit. Yep. I'm going through and editing and I'll make a pull request, but it it can be released in the next review period. I don't see any um So it doesn't have to go through the community review. Again. I mean, um, I think it does, but so the pull re when we do the pull request, we'll just kind of I think have to leave it until we get to the next release. Yeah, because technically we're in a freeze, actually. Yep. So I I created so the pull maybe even I created the pull request, and we can merge it um after the freeze okay. let's maybe create an issue for it too okay uh, sorry i didn't mean to derail the conversation no anyway. that's no it's a good question and it's actually an important one because it reflects a piece of like unfinished work that we didn't catch before so thank you Elizabeth. i think there's actually another one that says ready on down as well on the spreadsheet Um, I'm just making a note on the PR I created. What's the other one? Contributing organizations. Oh, it's um. So this is in common, and so I believe if we go, if I go to the common tab. Organization diversity is 15. Yeah. That's released. Yeah, this is interesting. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's organization. It's our, so, this is, I think we have a new category now, which is um, moved, but maybe that text is not yet cut. Yeah. There's a moved. I had to go through and edit all these filters somewhere on a spreadsheet. I thought I edited these. Yeah, that one I said I got moved it there, but maybe maybe I didn't edit it down here. Nope, moved. So it doesn't color code. I don't know how to do the color coding, but that's one that moved. So I just updated it. I don't think the moved category existed when we first. Uh, when we first uh, moved, moved it, I think that the moved category uh, emerged out of that. You all do see Kevin's screen being shared? 
Yes. Yeah. I, I see it. Okay. Yeah, I see it. So weird. It's like I have no idea where it is. I just created a, a an issue for the name change for code changes commits. Okay. Is code changes commits, code change commits, code changes commits. Okay. Okay. Anyway, back to. Uh, uh issue created in translations repo it's a good question did we do that probably not because the checklist didn't exist back when we did this work contribution attribution i've created a pr for the update feed loop Uh, I even see I even see a little green icon by you that says you're sharing it, but I it is nowhere on my screen that I can see, unless it's over on this other monitor I don't have turned on usually. No. That's so weird. Are you on the Windows or on Mac? I'm on Mac. That's so weird. I, it doesn't matter, but. I need to, I think either Yash or Ritik was going to actually create a template for this translation, uh, these translation issues, but I don't believe they've done that yet. Okay. Okay, so this is new metric. Uh, working group is evolution. And the metric is uh, focus area and then contribution contribution attribution can you point out the focus area too or is that the is that the what's the uh uh nope no the so the name the name should be it should be new metric or okay. or, or revised metric and then it should yeah. be the working group, and then it should be the name of the metric. So I would propose uh, having a focus area for them so that they can directly go rather than just look into each focus area and find out the metric. That should be a suggestion. So that will be easier for the translation folks to exactly find where to go rather than look into all the focus areas. Well, we give them a, we give them a link to the metric. So. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, then then that's fine. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Yeah, there's a, 
part of this process, I find it's like inevitably circular because we have to create the issue in order to have an issue number and then go back and add the specific link to the issue number. You're not wrong. I mean, but there's no, I mean, it's like I thought, is there another way to do so, this? And, and there's not. So yes, yes. Uh, so what is now uh, a thing that I've observed in different groups is like, when you start mm -hmm. working on the uh, issue or like when you're working on a, a template, you create an issue at that time. That's and then you, you directly, yeah, yeah, that's, and then in that issue, you have all the history, even after the review period, you change the, just change the label and yeah. keep the issue same for yeah. one forever. No, that's, uh, that's a good argument for creating issues for the metrics that we're working on. Yes. Yeah, so as issue evolves, uh, like as metric evolves, we just change the label of the issue and keep on evolving. Yep. Okay. Okay, translations, yep, that's done. Metric candidate release label added to that. Metric added to the website, good. Metric release was announced. Content quality. It's very high. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, we don't so, use HTML. <clears throat> On the content quality, Kevin, I have a question. If the images in the metric does not follow the naming convention, will you be able to release them in your automated release? No. Naming no, I don't convention. Know. Or I, the, I, I mean, what? it depends what you're asking. I mean, as so, long as the, yeah, I mean, what's, I don't know. Yeah, what are you asking, Vinod? Because I, I know I created some images. Yes, and but I just, that, in some of the images, the naming convention is not. Images being displayed in the metric, when you look at in the, the uh, metric uh, template or uh, everywhere, even on the website, but the naming convention is not exactly as per a standard naming convention. So what which is, is like a focus area and the metric, oh. uh, and then the image number or image name or whatever. Yeah. I was not aware that there was a convention. So I think I just named them stuff. Yeah. Generally speaking, if the if the image, so that yeah, there so there is a convention. There's a there's a format uh, that we would like you to use when you create images. Uh, and prime the primary reason for that is just to uh, uh, because in the in converting the markdown into HTML, mm -hmm. uh, some of the uh, uh, it's pretty it's pretty easy to uh, what, some things that work on on GitHub will not work uh, off of um, GitHub, right? Okay. You know? So, uh, but in general, if the visualizations are working on the website, then yes. they will then they will work on the uh, uh, the release. Okay. Okay. Uh, so okay. if you and if you look at the metrics template, the uh, the second page of the metrics template is actually some some guidance on uh, naming conventions. Naming conventions and uh, uh, for yeah for 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 the for the name of the metric itself for the uh, uh, how to do images. Uh, and general formatting instructions for the metric. So it, it is there in the template. Uh, when we pull that template into a working group to work on, we usually delete that bit out. <laughs> so at least I usually do. For some reason, none of the links are taking me anywhere on the page. On which page? On the metrics page. Like when I, it says, like it doesn't, it's not taking me to the bookmark. It's showing the bookmark that I click on in the tab, but it doesn't take me there, strangely. Uh, here, let me share Maybe it's the screen. Just... Show, me, show me what you're seeing, what you're talking about. Uh, let's see. So like if I go to the top, if I just do metrics, metric definitions, mm -hmm. I scroll down and I want to go to community growth. 
I click oh, that. Yeah. It says community growth. Like it's right? pointing to a bookmark, but it does not take me there. And I don't yeah, know. Isn't that, isn't that weird? I don't know if that's, I, I know it used to. So yeah, I don't know. Totally used to. I don't know, you know, if probably those people who move stuff around during the um, website migration. Maybe you missed something. I have to talk I, with them. I can't think of what it would be though. No, I can't either. Uh, it's that's like default what? HTML behavior. It should uh it should take you to the that's yeah, like in-page right? scrolling. It should take you there. Yeah. Yeah, it's been driving me crazy for uh uh ever since the migration. And I, I don't know if it happened prior to the migration and we just didn't notice it or uh no, uh, it was but, not yeah. Prior to migration, it was working. I have observed the same. After migration, it was not working. Yeah, I don't, but I don't know if the migration was the cause of the issue or if it was if it was an issue that was uh, that was there before the migration. And it might have been an issue that was there before the migration. Maybe. Yeah. Well, either way. Uh, I've been, I've been trying to figure it out. I've I've messed around. I've uh, yeah, no clue. All right. So. I'm hoping I'm, oh, you know what I haven't, are you using uh, Firefox? I am. I wonder, uh, I haven't actually checked other browsers. Uh, yeah, could be a Firefox thing for sure. That's certainly not out of the question. Uh, so anyway, so we have the content and the uh, quality and the technical requirements uh, that we would go through. And I would say, so those, those bits, I think, are best looked at when we do, uh, when we actually review the metric itself. Okay. It doesn't work so, in Chrome either. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so I can say the required headings are filled in. Uh, sure, the description provides context to the metric. Uh, Objectives, lists, sample uses for the metric and desired outcomes. Uh, uh, if any uh, DEI uses of the metrics are included in the uh, objectives, optional headings were removed. Contributor section is there. The name of the metric is the same in the metric heading, the metric file name, the focus area, the metric spreadsheet, the review issue, the translation issue, and the website. Uh, and I just peeked at that. I believe that's that should be correct. Uh, technical requirements, the message in the markdown file that the metric will be parked, that is there. Metric file name is the full metric name and only contains lowered letters with dashes for spaces. Yeah. Images are included using markdown relative links as described in the metrics template. Images have at least one empty line above and below them. Uh, yeah, I think that's the case. Images are placed in an image folder and following the naming convention. Uh, yep, naming convention. Yep, that's there. Okay. Uh, if a new focus area is created, the ensure the focus area is added to the working group within the focus area, add the metric. Yep, we just did that. Uh, ensure tables within the metric. There are no tables, uh, no HTML code in the metrics markdown file. I do not see any HTML in here. Okay, we're good. And done with the checklist. All right. I think that concludes our business for the day. I thought this morning was going to be short. It ended up being long. Yeah, this much the readme PR. I've already created it.
All right. Anything else we should discuss? I think we've covered the basic business for the day. Uh, not, uh, yeah, not evolution business. I do have a question for Elizabeth that uh, I would like to ask, uh, but we have to not record. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to stop recording. Thank you very much for participating in the evolution meeting. Have an awesome day. See you all later.